Welcome aboard the Bitcoin Express. My name is Chase. Let's get to it. I'm having an issue. When I log in to Rarible using my MetaMask wallet, it shows under collectibles in Rarible that I own these F1 Delta Time boots. However, when I open up my MetaMask wallet, it does not show these Delta Time boots and I'm worried. Do I actually own them? Where are they? So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to add these NFTs or really any token to your MetaMask wallet if it's not showing up. And if this interests you, please consider hitting the like on this video because it really helps with the YouTube algorithm. Let's begin. So here we are in Rarible and we wanna add missing tokens to our MetaMask wallet. So whenever we have a token that is not showing up, we open the MetaMask wallet, we scroll down and we do add token. So I actually have Tether on my MetaMask wallet, but it, it's not showing up. So I just search for the token. So I search for Tether. Here's Tether. Next, add tokens. And there it is. Now I have Tether in my wallet. So I have these F1 Delta Time boots, or maybe you have CryptoKitties or an NFT that's not showing up. So we do the same thing. We add token, but this is where we have an issue. If I type in CryptoKitties, nothing shows up. If I type in F1 Delta Time to find these boots, nothing shows up. So what we need to do is add a custom token. So I'm gonna do that right from the beginning again. So we're gonna go scroll down, add a token, and add a custom token. So on the top field, there's token contract address. This is what we need. We add this address and our NFT or our custom token will show up. So if we're on Rarible, there are two ways that we can get this token contract address. The first way is in Rarible, click on your NFT. So I'm clicking on my F1 Delta Time Boots. And right here in the upper right corner, we're gonna click that and do view on OpenSea. So it's gonna bring us to this other marketplace, OpenSea, that sells all types of NFTs and digital collectibles. Collectibles, and if we scroll down, we'll see properties, stats, boost, about the NFT, and over here, chain info. All the NFTs on OpenSea will have chain info. And right there on the top is the contract address. So if we go back to my MetaMask wallet now, we are going to scroll down, add a token, add custom token and paste the contract address and you'll see the token symbol will show up. If it's not the correct token contract address, you'll get an error, invalid address. But if it's the correct one that we just took right here from OpenSea and we do next, add tokens and just like that, my F1 Delta Time token is showing up in my MetaMask wallet. So this is for, crypto, for other cryptocurrencies, ERC20 tokens and also for custom tokens. So this is the first way, the easy way to do it. Now let's hide this, let's remove this and add it again another way. Okay, so we're gonna hide that. It's no longer in my wallet. So the other way we can do this is we don't have to go to OpenSea, we can just do it right from within the MetaMask wallet. So if we click on our MetaMask wallet, there's the assets and right here is activity. So again, we have assets and activity. If we scroll through our activity, we can find the transaction for when we bought that NFT. So in this case, I'm going to look for the transaction for when I purchased these F1 Delta Time boots. And it's right here. So I'm gonna click on that. And on the upper right hand corner, we can view this on Etherscan. So we're gonna take this to Etherscan. And as we're scrolling through, you're gonna see this section right here, tokens transferred. So you can click on any one of these links for tokens transferred. So I'm gonna click on that. And then right here on the right hand side, it's gonna show again, the same exact contract address, the one that I just used just a moment ago. So I'm gonna copy that, come back to MetaMask Wallet. All right, and I'm gonna to go to assets, add token, custom token, add it, and there. It shows up again. So I do not want you to worry if you buy an NFT and it's showing up in one place but not showing up in the other. You own it. It's controlled by your wallet. All you need to do is add this token so that it will be visible now in your MetaMask wallet. I hope that this video helped. If you have any questions, please put them down 
in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you for listening, and I'll see you next time.